Hey guys, can you guess what I'm doing today? Yeah, it's laundry day and I'm just like cleaning the house except for the floors and, I'm, and I'll do the floors tomorrow. Um, that's a really boring day. I don't think I'll even leave the house. Yeah, I don't have anything exciting to add to this. Um, last night went... Last night went good. I was super, super tired, so I just shot the dog saying goodnight instead of me because I was like, ugh, so tired. <sighs> Why are so tired today? But, so I'm doing something called testing my trigger out, which means like when you get a trigger shot for an IUI or just like a medicated cycle, what a trigger shot is, it's actually the HCG, like the pregnancy hormone, and they inject it into you. And the complicated thing is, People don't test it out, and then if they get a positive pregnancy test later on, they're like, oh crap, is this real or is this the trigger shot? So a lot of people, and what I'm doing, test it out, which means every day since I took the trigger shot, I take a pregnancy test in the morning and see if there's still a line, and mine's getting fainter and fainter. And once the line's gone, then the trigger shot's out of your system, and any like positive pregnancy test you get after that is real. Um, so, but what I'm doing is I'm testing out and I want two negative pregnancy tests before I'm like, stop for, I'm not going to keep testing to see if I get a positive later on. Um, I'm just going to stop once I know that the trigger is out of my system because there's no use in like stressing myself out, watching, waiting for it to come back. Um, so I was also going to tell you guys yesterday, um, Somebody asked me on social media, like, well, what did you get, Justin? I need ideas for my husband. So I decided to just tell you guys in today's vlog what I've done. Um, previous year, one year I gave him, like, our first year together, I saved, like, all my money. I scrimped and saved, and we are in high school, mind you. And I gave him a $200 certificate to Guitar Center. I was so proud of myself for that. Um, but the last year I did something really simple, if you're on a budget, um, I just went to Dollar Tree and to like Target and got little boxes of candy and I found the idea on Pinterest and had a couple of ideas for the candies but the rest I had to come with with myself and every day in February so February 1st to the 14th I would give him when he woke up in the morning on his place mat there would be a new box of candy or whatever and for instance this is the only one I can seem to remember but I had some that were really really clever I was pretty proud of myself, um, but the only one I could sticks in my mind is like, I think because Skittles was the hardest one for me to think of something, but I wanted to include it because um, he likes Skittles, and I think that one was You Color My World, and so I was just like on pretty scrapbook paper, I, I like printed out You Colored My World in like a pretty font, and like made a little note on the Skittles. Um, and like if you use Starburst, you could be like, you make my heart burst with love or it's just like it's corny but it's really cute um so this year and i know not everyone gives their husband things on valentine's day i figure like honestly why isn't it a holiday for them too um i always give justin something i don't think it's fair to expect stuff on that day and not give him anything but i also <laughs> I really shouldn't say this out loud, but if you guys have heard, like, the, the guys talk about um, <laughs> March 14th is their day, and if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of vulgar, so I'm not going to say it, but I also participate in making him a steak on that day, and pretty much getting back to what I was saying this year... I wear slippers a lot and I notice like he's always saying stuff about like I should get some slippers I should get some slippers um but he never does <laughs> and his feet get cold a lot he's always taking the pillows and putting it from the couch and putting it on his feet so I went and got him some nice slippers and I also got him some PJ bottoms because um he for the longest never really wore any and then he started wearing them but he just doesn't have enough and I think it's kind of important for both of us to get like full pajamas before we, you know, take children in from um, for foster care and adoption and stuff. Because, you know, maybe with your own kids, you might walk around in like 
I don't know, like your boxers or something, but I feel like that's a little inappropriate when you've adopted a child. Or honestly, I don't think I could walk around like that in front of my kids. I was never able to walk around like that in front of my niece, um, even though we took care of her a lot. So I'm always trying to get him more. So I found this really nice pair of pajama bottoms, a long kind, like fleecy. And then I went to Party City and his favorite Jolly Ranchers are the watermelon. And he will buy a pack and then not want to eat the rest. And he's like, why don't they just make a pack of just the watermelon? So I went to Party City where you can buy candy individually. And I picked through all the Jolly Ranchers and pulled out all the watermelons I could find. I think I got him like 15 watermelon Jolly Ranchers. And then in the very bottom of the bag also I put in... It's the same thing with Starburst. He only likes the strawberry ones, really. I mean, he'll eat the other ones, but the strawberries are his favorite. And, like, if we get some to share, it's always, like, there's one left and we're both, like, who's going to get it? And I usually just let him have it because I like all of them, really. Um, so I got him 30 strawberry Starbursts, and I put all that in the bag. Um, so that's what I did for him for Valentine's Day. I honestly cannot remember. What we did before that was instead of buying each other gifts, when we – it was more so we were rebuilding our credit and we had just bought a house and you know when you're younger you don't have a lot of money so we agreed we wouldn't really buy valentine's gift we give each other like cards and a little box of chocolates but we never really bought gifts um up until recently but what we would do since high school is each each year we would take a turn so one year would be his turn and he would come up with a date and then the next year would be my turn and i would come up with a date um, I had a date planned for this year, but it only would have worked on a weekday. So I couldn't use it. I'm saving it for next year if it's on a weekday. And um, <laughs> yeah, so this year, Justin had already bought me tickets and a ticket for him to see um, Fifty Shades of Grey. I mean, obviously. And they were going to uh, BJ's. Um, I think it's like a brew house or steakhouse. I don't know. It's it's a restaurant. It's not anything fancy, but I like it. I've had it before. I really liked it because they had vegan and vegetarian options, but then they also had like steak if Justin wants steak. So we're going to go do that. And then we also have to go to my niece's birthday party. Oh my God, I've been talking for seven minutes. So that's like half my vlog. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, thank you. So I'm gonna try to take a nap. I did all the laundry, and I'm so tired. I don't know why. I'm not feeling very good. So I'm gonna take a nap. Hopefully, it's good reasons. I don't know. I'm watching Law and Order. Ralphie, don't lick yourself like that. Yes, and I've heard that before. Uh -oh. so, do you believe in the Where's my cuddle bunny? Where's my cuddle bunny? Go take a nap. Go take a Not nap. Go <laughs> so now I'm making a strawberry lemonade Justin likes a lot. With my... Part of it I do with my juicer and the lemons I have to hand squeeze. Which, that's the suckiest part, but I'm gonna do the strawberry first. Now I have like 13 lemons I need to squeeze. I had them in a brown paper bag overnight because they just don't feel like they're ripening, but I need to make it before the strawberries go bad. So this should be great on my hands. And I just use like a regular juicer. Hello, Justin Tom. We just ate. I started making lemonade. I did not, I started not feeling good. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Feels like I'm being sick, but not really. I don't know how to describe it, but um, 
can't even think of what I was going to say. Uh, oh yeah, the lemonade. I think those lemons were, it was like either the strawberries are going to go bad or the lemons might not be fresh enough and the strawberries cost more than the lemons. So I used them anyway and they're very bitter. So that lemonade's way tarter than usual. So I'm going to actually, what I usually do is 12 lemons, two pounds of strawberries, the rest of water up till a gallon and sweeten to taste. I'm gonna have to sweeten it a lot more to get over the tartness, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But at least I got it done. I don't really feel like doing anything else. Healthy. Um, so yeah, I went, oh, I remember I told you guys what I got our niece, all that water play stuff. I got her these, I couldn't find an aerial like bathtub toy so we got her these water play barbies they're like bathtub safe this one kind of looks like her because she has really dark hair and light skin um she's mixed um she's really really pretty her coloring and stuff too um she's half hispanic and half white and then we got her a regular barbie and i thought it was really cute because she has a little best friend that's blonde and they're always together like little sisters. So we got her the Barbie that kind of like blonde like her best friend. And then the dark featured Barbie that's really pretty like her. So she could play with him like her and her best friend playing. So I thought that was cute. And that's all we did tonight. And then like, the uh, I just realized all the other bath toys I got her. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like worried this... I mean, like, I maxed this Dollar Tree bag out. It ended up fitting perfect. But when I first came up here and looked in, like, the other bath toys we got her, the Disney stuff, I was like, oh, crap, it's not going to fit. I made it fit. That's, like, the perfect size bag. Hallelujah. Okay, now I'm really going to bed. I was having a bit of a panic attack. But all right. I just don't want to have to go buy more bags. Yeah. I guess I should probably buy some so I have some, but I just don't. Anyway, good night, guys. Mm -hmm.